So hello people, this is Vakas Ahmed and uh, today I would be talking about Mac filtering and uh, well uh, the question may arise that uh, what Mac filtering is and what it actually does. So I we could even do the IP filtering, I don't even know if IP filtering exists or not but uh, what makes Mac addresses so special is that these are the physical addresses of our computers. And uh, if you're talking about uh, the IPs in the meanwhile, well, what's the difference is that uh, IPs uh, can be dynamic as well. Well, if you access the properties of your internet, Wi-Fi internet, and if you access the internet protocol version 4, you can see it out there. Uh, if your computer is obtaining an IP address automatically, that means you have a dynamic IP address. If this moment it for example let's say it is a 192.168.1.2 the next minute it would be different so if you have to set a static IP you would be uh, entering uh, the IP addresses manually so this is it now as you know that these days uh, you might be a bit nervous if someone is using your Wi-Fi connection or someone is trying to hacking into it or something like that and you're experience uh, you are experiencing a slow internet connection so Mac filtering is meant for you because if you want to feel secure so first of all what I want to talk about is uh, that uh, uh, the Mac filtering that I'm going to do for the modem is uh, the PTCM modem that is AN102025 and uh, it would be a bit uh, different for the other modems but uh, not really quite different I mean if you, you just understand that what is going on over here you would do it so for example first of all what you need to do is to get an access to the your your uh, internet modem portal and for that you need to type in 192.168.1.1 it usually works for it usually works for most of them and uh, once you enter it would ask you for the username and the password it didn't it didn't ask me because i have saved the passwords over here and that would be admin admin and that usually works for most of them too and uh, if the admin admin doesn't work so what you need to do is to you need to call your internet service provider and you need to ask you need to ask them about your username and the password for the access so you would come right over here and now you can see that uh, at the left side of the menu I have uh, like five options over here and one of them is wireless I would go into the wireless and the, then I would go into the Mac filter and uh, now over here you can see that I have too many Mac addresses and uh, this is a list of my Mac addresses uh, this is me over here this is my laptop uh, that right now I'm making a video tutorial on it's the MAC address of my computer this is my uh, smartphone and this is my brothers and so on so now what does that mean now you can see that my internet is set to open that means it doesn't have any security key but that doesn't mean everyone can connect to my network to my Wi-Fi internet first of all what for example if I remove my uh, smartphone MAC address from over here that is 3C it's over right here let me remove this okay so now I'm done it's it's been removed now now when it is removed your internet first will be restarted. don't be get tensed by that and uh, once it is removed that means I cannot connect to my smartphone now why even though if the security key is set to open I can connect to my laptop but I cannot connect it to, to my smartphone that is because I have not authorized that physical address from over here in my Mac filtering and that means every device that needs to be connected to this internet would first go through your hand that you would first add the Mac record in the physical address of that computer and until and unless you add it here that guy or that PC won't connect to this internet so that's it and another final part is that how you can actually find the MAC addresses of your computers and uh, your smartphones is that uh, for Windows it's uh, that you would access the CMD by accessing the start menu and once you type in the CMD you would have an access to command prompt and uh, you would type in uh, IP config backslash a double l all so now you can see yeah and the another thing is that uh, 
your uh, computer have different hardware components and for different hardwares it has different MAC addresses and right now over here we are talking about the wireless so you would be you should be looking for wireless LAN adopter Wi-Fi and uh, down below you can see there is a physical address that is 446057 e one c 43 that's my Wi-Fi mic address over here and that's the same uh, that I have uh, written down over here and I have given access to over here as well so that's it I think that's the enough for a tutorial and if you're still experiencing any problems uh, setting up your computers uh, doing the Mac filtering so you can leave the comment you can ask me uh, I would for sure give you a help and uh, that's it for today uh, please like my video give a sub and uh, thanks for watching